Which of these legendary pistols aren't the absolute best in Borderlands 3? Starting us off on this list is the Roizen's Thorn. This Torque pistol is undoubtedly one of the prettiest guns you'll ever see with its rose-covered skin, but don't let that beauty fool you. This gun is very strong. After a buff on March 12th, 2020, that increased the damage by 53%, and then a second buff that increased the damage by another 100%, this pistol became one of the strongest in the game. The only downside is that it's locked to corrosive for its default element, but its special ability is that it shoots one corrosive gyro jet and four incendiary orbs that explode on contact. Contact. When you switch the sticky firing mode, however, you lose those four incendiary orbs. So make sure you keep this gun in normal firing mode when you use it. This gun is amazing on Moe's and Amara since both have extra splash damage skills to benefit from this weapon, but it's also powerful for Zane and Flak as well. The Roizen's Thorn can be obtained either randomly as a world drop or from Princess Tarantel II in the Splinterlands on Pandora in the base game. Number nine. Better be good! Sliding into number nine is the Lucky Seven, and part of me wanted to rank this thing two spots higher than this, but you'll see why the next two are ranked there in a moment. The Lucky Seven has one of the coolest gimmicks of any weapon in all of Borderlands history. On reload, this gun rolls a random amount of five different buffs, occasionally rolling all of them at once. The chance of which to get those was also buffed on December 17th, 2020. Those buffs include bonus critical damage, full auto mode, elemental bonus of either incendiary, shock, or corrosion, explosive bullet the deal splash damage and the lucky seven itself where you will fire seven bullets at once in the shape of a seven but at the cost of just one ammo per shot now as cool as this gimmick is it's very inconsistent but with the right build Mose and flak can re-roll maximum modifiers and basically keep that bonus nearly forever with ammo regen this can also be achieved with terror anointments which you can apply to this gun by using the crazy earl anointment re-roll machine with the bloody harvest event enabled using any form of ammo regen and keeping this gun locked on the re-roll bonuses makes it crazy strong and can be used to absolutely annihilate bosses. The Lucky 7 can world drop from various crew challenge bosses or as a dedicated drop with a 50% drop chance from Scrap Trap Prime and DLC 1, the handsome jackpot, making this one of the easiest guns on this list to farm. Don't hate, it's number 8! Jumping to number eight on this list is the Prompt Critical, yet another Torg pistol on the top list of best pistols. And it's nice to see Torg make that change from where it was at the beginning of this game where most Torg pistols were terrible. The Prompt Critical earns its spot with some very strong features. Firstly, this gun will shoot three or four gyro jets at once at the cost of either one or two ammo respectively, depending on the multiplier on the damage card. So in other words, the times three version will only consume one ammo per shot and shoot out three gyro jets, whereas a times four will shoot out four gyro jets, but cost two ammo per shot. These gyro jets will explode on impact and deal whatever the weapon element is in splash damage. The sticky firing mode will apply stickies that explode after 10 seconds or when you reload the gun, but it will also increase the splash damage and radius for each gyro jet that is stuck to the target. This gun can receive splash damage anointments and can roll in any element, making it a great all around pistol for nearly any situation. Extremely strong in the hands of Moe's. The prompt critical can be obtained as a world drop from various enemies inside of DLC 4, the cycle Creek DLC or as a dedicated drop from Evil Lilith in that same DLC, but with just a 10% drop chance. Let's see number seven! At number seven on our countdown is the Multi-Tap. This Atlas pistol is one of my all-around favorite weapons in Borderlands 3. The alternate firing mode shoots out a tracking grenade that will mark nearby enemies, and each bullet that you shoot will split up and hit every single marked enemy. And then when you reload, this gun will launch a cryo rocket that targets all the enemies that were tracked and deals splash damage. Yeah, this gun is fun as hell. I especially love this gun on Zane, but honestly, every single Vault Hunter can have a great time with this gun. Making this gun even better, it received a 175% weapon damage damage buff on April 29th, 2021. You can get the multi-tap from Kanagawa Ball and Skywell 27 at a 16.5% drop chance on Mayhem 6 and above. It can also spawn from Scourge and Anathema and Guardian Takedown. And now for number six, 
Moving on to number six is the Atlas Replay. This Atlas pistol, big surprise with that name, just barely edges out the multi-tap for me, but I tend to use the multi-tap more, oddly enough. The replay special ability is that it shoots non-elemental splash projectiles and the alternate firing mode shoots out 15 tracking darts in a row that can pass through walls to tag enemies. Each tagged enemy will then increase the fire rate of this weapon. This can lead to some insane fire rates and damage since splash is so powerful on mayhem modes. This gun is a amazing in the hands of every single vault hunter but obviously amara mose and zane probably get the most enjoyment from it the atlas replay can actually world drop from other named enemies inside of dlc 6 the director's cut or it can be farmed as a dedicated drop from hemophorus the invincible at a respectable 25 percent drop chance on mayhem 10 or 11. and here we are at number five Halfway through the list, now we find the Beacon. This Malawan pistol shoots out energy orbs that deal splash damage in whatever element you have on the gun. Additionally, on reload, this gun releases a Nova of the weapon element that deals splash damage, and this Nova deals more damage the fewer bullets remaining in the mag when you reload. This gun is one of the most versatile, strong, and fun weapons on this list, and that's saying something since there's some amazing weapons on here. The Beacon can roll with any two elements, being a Malawan. This allows you to change on the fly in ways that a lot of other weapons weapons can't. Obviously, this gun lends itself beautifully to Moe's and Amara, but I've enjoyed using this gun on Flack and Zane as a change of pace from my usual gear with them as well. The beacon drops from Jarek Logan in Blood Sudden Canyon on DLC 3, The Bounty of Blood, at a very solid 33% drop rate. Moving on to number four! Moving on to number four now, and the Tizzy takes this spot. This COV pistol is one of the overall most powerful weapons in the game, capable of ridiculous damage per second because of its combination of high damage and fire rate. This gun can also spawn in any element, giving it maximum versatility as well. Basically, the longer you hold the trigger, the faster this gun will shoot. Every six bullet will ricochet, and every 12 bullet is amped and deals 70% bonus damage. There are two downsides to this gun, however. First, you can only obtain this gun from Arms Race or the Diamond Loot Room from DLC. C6 if you get super lucky and secondly this gun will eat your ammo like i eat jelly beans and that's a lot but with mose you can mitigate some of the ammo consumption and with zane you can use the wild clone as active ammo regen annoyment or since we can now enable bloody harvest year round just turn that on and reroll this thing to have terror ammo regen and get yourself a grenade that applies terror to yourself boom infinite ammo tizzy the tizzy can be obtained from the hunker bunker room in arms race which is located right here on your map it can also be obtained randomly in that dlc see as a world drop from vending machines or from the final boss the heavyweight arker and now we're down to number three Sliding in at number three is the Unkempt Herald. This classic from Borderlands 2 returns in Borderlands 3 and is now even better than its predecessor. Even though you can't roll a double penetrating prefix on this gun in Borderlands 3, it doesn't actually matter. Any version of this gun you get is going to absolutely wreck enemies. Unlike the Borderlands 2 version, this one can now roll all of the elements or be non-elemental. When you shoot this gun, it fires off three gyro jets that will split into a row of seven gyro jets that explode on impact, dealing splash damage in your gun's weapon element type. Now, don't be fooled by the item card there's a times four version of this gun and it needs to be avoided at all costs as all it does is consume one extra ammo per shot without giving you any extra projectiles this gun can spawn with splash annoyments and those are very powerful with this weapon at launch this version of the herald was good but not great but a buff on june 6 2021 gave this gun a 100 damage buff propelling it to the top of the best pistols list and honestly making it even stronger than the borderlands 2 version you can farm the Herald from Caber Dowd and Blood Sun Canyon on DLC 3, The Bounty of Blood, or it can world drop from other various named enemies or chests in that DLC. Uh, this one almost made it to number one, but it didn't. So it's number two. At number two on my list, and honestly, my favorite overall pistol in the game is the Light Show. Now, even though it's my favorite pistol, I recognize that it's not the strongest overall, thus the second spot on this list. This Vladoff pistol shoots four bullets in a square pattern. That pattern will rotate clockwise while firing, consuming just one ammo per shot. Using this gun for medium to close range, you can keep all those bullets on target and absolutely shred enemies. This gun can spawn in all of the elements or it can be non-elemental, giving it exceptional versatility. In the hands of Zane, this is one of the most enjoyable gameplay experiences I've ever had in any Borderlands game ever, running and gunning and just having a blast. But this gun is also great on every single Vault Hunter in nearly any situation. It's also extremely easy to farm, having one of the fastest farming routes of any gun on this list. You can get the Light Show as a dedicated drop from Lazodactyl at 33% drop rate in the Obsidian Forest in DLC 3, The Bounty of Blood. Honorable mention.
Honorable mentions go to the Maggie, the Hydra Frost, Kings and Queens Call, Seven Cents, Wish It Could Be Anointed, Nemesis, Grease Trap, Hellshot, Gargoyle, Miscreant, and so many other amazing pistols in Borderlands 3. And finally, here we are at number one! Surprising absolutely nobody at number one on this list is the Free Radical. This Malawan pistol might be locked to shock as the only elemental option, but don't let that fool you. This gun doesn't really care what enemies resist, and it will shred everything in sight. The Free Radical shoots out energy orbs that deal shock splash damage, and each enemy that is hit will spawn a homing bullet that only homes back in on the hit target. These homing bullets do not deal splash damage, but this creates a wild light show of bullets and splash damage that leaves everything on the screen dead in mere seconds. Probably the only weakness this weapon has is besides the element lock is that like all Malawans your first shot requires a little bit of a charge up but after that it's game over for literally everything on the screen. The free radical is arguably one of the strongest overall weapons in the game with a higher base damage than a lot of sniper rifles oddly enough. You can farm the free radical from Beef Pliskin and Karas Canyon on Pandora by doing the Ava murder mystery side quest in DLC 6 the director's cut. So that's my top 10 legendary pistols in Borderlands 3 let me know in the comment section below which pistols you love and which ones i listed that you don't like if you enjoyed this video please take a second to hit that like button and subscribe if you want more videos like this thank you guys for watching take care